Welcome back to Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Sloper, joined today by Louis Camarasana, the general manager of HomeGain. Quick reminder, Real Estate Radio is designed to build the Washington, D.C. Metro's market by giving you good, free advice. If you ever have any questions, concerns, or real estate needs, the best number to reach out to us is 877-245-2030. That's 877-245-2030. Or you can reach out to us on the web at realestateradiodcmetro.com. Uh, before we jump into Home Gain's third quarter 2011 home values survey i want to discuss with you this week's word on wealth which is our segment where we give you an overview of what happened in the market and anything that impacts you the consumer financially from last week this segment was brought to you by home gain home gain is the place to get you started buying or selling a home finding a realtor and getting real estate questions answered so go to homegain.com today to see what i'm talking about all you have to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online it's a great way to monitor your home's value, and it's totally free. So make sure you check that out today, guys, at HomeGain.com. So overall, last week, it was a very tumultuous up and down. Volatility is the key word for the, for the last couple weeks, really. Um, on Monday, last Monday, there wasn't really any major reports. All eyes have been on Europe as of late, and will the Greek crisis be resolved? Um, the markets you know, are remaining very jittery. The Dow was uh, 250 points down at one point and then finished – down 100 points so you know it's it's going all over the place back and forth uh, as we discussed housing starts fell five percent in august on tuesday uh, building permits increased by 3.2 percent last wednesday existing home sales came in which actually the number it's they really they really crushed it this time it was a jump of 7.7 percent up from august so the question is lewis is that just really a, um an effect of Interest rates? I mean, what what is the sudden urge? You know, as of last month. I mean, typically in the summer months, you know, the later summer months, we're not getting that big push because most people are trying to get situated before then to get their kids into school. There's nothing in the macro trends that would indicate you should have that type of uh, surge. So, who knows? We'll have to wait and see what happens in uh, the next um, statistics that come out. And wait, wait, that was for July. That or? was. Um, or August. From August, yes. August. So we're going to have to wait to see what, how it went this month. And it could just be that there were more um, short sales on the market that were approved. Who knows? Yeah. I just, I mean, it, it is, it is a, a, a some sort of optimism there. I mean, you know, we're we're always looking for something that, that that's giving us some sort of positive sign. That would be that would be nice if it was a, if it was a reoccurring trend month over month. Right. You'll have to wait and see if it is a trend. I don't think it is. Not because I'm not optimistic, just because I'm realistic. But right. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. It was an interesting. Um, uh, I believe it was the. Let's see here. It was KCM blog basically were showing that. Um, Basically every let's see, just yesterday, so they basically do it on a daily basis. Thirteen thousand seven hundred eighty homes were sold just yesterday, um, and then and the average that's the average number of homes that will sell each day and every day in this country, according to the National Association of Realtors. And you know they actually are saying that this this is a positive thing. Of course, NAR is going to you know they're going to take anything they get that's positive and run with it. I would say. That with interest rates being where they're where they are right now, I would expect for existing home sales to continue to increase month over month, as long as interest rates remain where they are and go lower. Uh, a lot of people that have been on the fence for a, a while, I think, are finally stepping off and making you know making that jump or plunge to either buy their move up home, to sell and move into their retirement home, whatever it may be. But I think that that. Uh, the interest rates to me is the biggest driver of everything, and I don't know what whether it took it going from four and a half to just below four percent, but that's just my take on it. Well, sure, and you mentioned earlier the article that talked about home prices being bipolar, talking about the expensive homes versus the regular one. What we could be seeing here also is that the housing market is bicoastal. Yeah, meaning that you know you might have these um, increase in sales, and they didn't give the breakdown regionally, but you might have an increase in sales on the coast and places like Phoenix and uh, Detroit and so on that are hard hit are not doing well at all. So there could be a net increase in a particular month, but it all could be as a result of it being concentrated in a, in a few geographic locations on the coast. Yeah, that's a great point. We're talking with Lewis Camarasano, the general manager of HomeGain, discussing what happened in the markets last week. Last Thursday, jobless claims came in and they continued to be above 400,000. 
actually it was yeah it was to they dropped 9,000 jobs to 423,000 in the week that ended September 17th. Um, once again, this is another reason why I think home sales in a lot of those areas that we're talking about that might not be in the coastal areas, not as not as many jobs. Um, this continues to be a, a reoccurring trend week after week that the jobs number is just atrocious. Sure, and there's also parts of the West, like North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, that have relatively low unemployment rates, but their ability to influence the national housing numbers is de minimis because of the small numbers of homes. Yeah, yeah, and that's, you know, these jobs numbers have just got me stumping, and I think, you know, it's the same thing with the Fed. They're really looking for – they really don't have anything that they can do that's going to promote job, promote job growth. And anybody that thinks that they do have that power is crazy. Well, they have the power to make it worse, and they have the power to blow a lot of money trying. They really should step back because the private sector creates jobs better than anything the government can do or any money that's funneled into the system artificially through the Fed. All that does is create inflation. Exactly. And, and not to mention, I mean, we have all this overregulation now. I mean, that's all you hear. If you listen to any of these, you know, the CEOs of any of the big companies, they're, they're not doing anything because they're, they're, they're fear of regulation. Well, there was an interesting um, testimony by a guy named Peter Schiff who went to Congress, and he complained exactly of that. And he mentioned a case where he bought that fine $15,000 for hiring too quickly. <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's worth checking out on YouTube. I think you type in Peter Schiff um, congressional testimony. And he went on about the, the regulations and how it's very difficult to hire because of the regulations and because of the – liability you take on from hiring people you know there was an, actually i was listening to um squawk box this morning and there was i can't remember it was a uh, hedge fund manager but he invested in a bunch of different companies one of them was a retail shop and part of the the health care bill that i mean there's so many little tiny regulations within that bill that most people don't even know they exist one of them was that uh any retail store has to have a separate room um for women to be able to go in and uh be able to lactate and it was costing them X amount of money to do that. I mean, you you start to think about all these little tiny regulations. I mean, it costs you know a lot in most cases hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, to do so. So I mean, it's really absurd. And I think that the fact that we're so far beyond overregulation right now that the companies don't even know what they have to do and don't have to do. And it's going to take. I think it's going to take a long time to actually comb through all these bills and actually f figure out how how it's going to be implemented into their business, and how it's what, what that's going to cost them long term. Wouldn't you agree? That's anytime you have uncertainty, whether it's in the mark, with any marketplace, whether it's the stock market, the employment market, you don't have a robust market. Yep. As of um, interesting to note that I wanted to bring up what the bank rate averages were for mortgage rates as of today. Pulled them up this morning. I give this to you guys every week just so you can get an average. Remember that when you're shopping for a mortgage, you're gonna, you need to pay attention and remain cognizant of APR. All rates are subject to your qualification. And coming up in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to jump into why most people can't even take advantage of these historically low rates in the high 3% range because of what's going on as far as loan level pricing adjustments. And I'm going to explain to you guys why that, you know, you're not able to attain the 3.875 or 3.75% rate that they're quoting all over the place. Bank rate, as of this past week, as of this morning, 30-year fix is at 4.02% APR, and last week is at 4.18%. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't get lower, guys. You obviously have the opportunity to buy down your rate. Um, you can actually choose to do a no-closing-cost refinance, which would actually raise the rate up some to absorb the cost of the refinance. So there's, you know, this is just kind of an average of all loans across the board. The 15-year fixed is edging even more close towards 3%. It was 3.32% APR, down from 336 the 5-1 arm is at 2.96% APR, down from 2.98% the last week. The biggest thing that I can tell you here, guys, is this is the biggest opportunity ever. If you are in the market, if you have the means to be able to refinance, I would say you have to be crazy to not at least consider doing so. Um, and I know a lot of people are upside down. You know, we do have options for you as well. I, I don't want to say that, you know, you're not going to be able to do anything. We do have other resources. There are some reputable loan modification companies out there. I would tell you probably one in, one in 50 go through, but you might be the one in 50. 
But for those of you out there that do have the means right now, you do have a little bit of equity in your property, or you have some money that's stashed away in a retirement account that you have the means to, to buy down to your, your loan amount down to about 80% loan to value, which would quali qualify you as for a conforming mortgage, you should probably do that. A uh, listener called in last week, had a situation where they uh, they owed 200 and their house was worth 400 They had basically only paid down on it for about eight years, and he had 5.5%, and, and he thought that was a great rate. We were able to take him and not only reduce his rate, but reduce his term, and we ended up knocking off about seven years. We put him into a 15-year fixed at 3.375%. 3 which is incredible. He ended up, you know, still having a net savings there because the rate differential was so great. And he cut off about eight years off of his loan, which is basically like going to college twice. <laughs> and I mean, he was just absolutely amazed that he was able to do that. He, we actually switched things around. So he was able, going to be able to retire a little bit earlier than what he thought. So, you know, I mean, th these type of things can really change your life, but you have to take the time and sit down and talk with somebody. 877-245-2030. That's 877-245-2030. When we come back, we're going to jump into the Home Gain third quarter survey. Be right back. 